Hello everyone, in this video we will be creating an ECS cluster. So first what we will do is we will create a launch template. Here I give the name as ECS launch template. Now I will just give the description. Here I will be selecting the AMI that is configured with the ECS agent. So I will be selecting the one that has been given by the Amazon Web Services. I select the second one. Now I will select the instance type as t2.micro. Now I will select a key pair that has been already created by me. I will leave the network settings to default so that it can be done by the ASG that is auto scaling group. I have already selected the security group. Now I will add an IAM rule for the instances to interact with my ECS cluster. Now I will enter the user data over here for the ECS instances to register themselves with the ECS cluster. Here we need to enter the user data that is given by the Amazon only and here we enter the cluster name. It is very important to keep this in mind otherwise the instances will not register themselves. Now we will create an auto scaling group. Let me name it as ECS ASG. We will select the template that has been created by us and let's re uh, leave all the settings to default. Now the auto scaling group has been created. It will automatically launch an instance. So far no running instances, but we will wait for some time. Meanwhile, let's just create the task definition. Or before that, let's just create the cluster because it will take time. Select the auto scaling group that has been already created by us. Meanwhile, the cluster is being created. What we will do is we will define the task definitions. Click on create a new task definition. Enter the name. Select the launch type. We will be using the EC2 instance. Here I am selecting the network mode as bridge so that we can test it. Because in AWS VPC the ENI gets attached and not the public IP. The instances, the container are not assigned with the public IP. Here we enter the container details. I am getting the detail for the URI from an image that I already already uploaded. Here the host port is 3000 and my container post is, port is 3000. Here I will name the port as 3000. Here I will give the CPU utilization for my tasks that will be 0.25 and 0.5 for memory. Now this has been created in the JSON we can verify CPU memory container port, host port, bridge. For the cluster, there are zero EC2 instances that are connected to it. As we can see here, there is a capacity provider over here but no container instances. Now 
we will have to delete this cluster because we selected the wrong name for the cluster as you remember i told you to use the cluster name as demo ecs otherwise the instances will not be able to register themselves so we will just now create a new cluster with the name demo ecs so that the instances can automatically reg register to the cluster this will take some time as you can see the instant instance is running we will name this as ecs instance it is still being deleted okay it has been completed as you can see there were no container instances over here now we will just create a new cluster we will name it as demo ecs because we use this in the user data now we will use an already existing auto scaling group and now click on create this will again take some time Okay, we can see the cluster, but still the infra is still yet pro provisioning. So we will just have to wait. Meanwhile, what we'll do is we create a load balancer for it. It is still provisioning now first we will create the target group we will set the target group as instances we will name the target group as ECS TG we will leave the settings to the default Here we will not select the instances and we will let the service register automatically register the instances to the target group. In the load balancer, we create the load balancer as ALV. We will name it as ECS LB. Now we will select the zone and Select the security group. Let me just show you the security group as well. So this is the security group for load balancer. I have an inbound rule on port 80 and output for all. Similarly, I have a security group for ECS instances as well. Inbound on port 3000. So far from anywhere, but we can change it. If we only want to configure it to receive traffic from only load balancer, we can just change it. Now I will select the target group while creating the load balancer now the load balancer is provisioning and in the target group we can see a load balancer has been attached so far there are no registered targets because ECS will automatically do it and here we can see the capacity provider and the container instances have been added. Now let's just create a service. We will select the launch type. Launch type as EC2. We will select the task definition. Name the service. Now we will select the already created load balancer over here. So 
सो दिस वॉज माई ई सी एस एल बी लोड बैलेंसर वी विल सिलेक्ट एन एग्जिस्टिंग लिस्टनर एंड एन एग्जिस्टिंग टारगेट ग्रुप नाउ क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट एंड वेट अंटिल इट हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड here we can see the task the logs but it is still provisioning it is in progress as you can see the logs have started to generate we can see what all is happening in the events tab we will see the instances registered over here so it is currently doing the health check once the status is turned to healthy the application will start running this will take some time okay the so the service has been reached a steady state and the health status is healthy as you can see now we will try to access our application through the load balancer's dns so our app is running fine hello welcome to devops thank you